after eight years of an updated conflict in Yemen. The health system in the whole country has been weakened. About half of health facilities in the country are out of service, while some of the functioning centers have very limited capacities. This report gives more details. Since the ongoing civil war in Yemen has started, it hugely destroyed the healthcare system. Only 50% of the pre-war hospitals and health facilities are still functional. The conditions of these hospitals are nowhere near full potential. They are in awful need of essential equipment and proper funding. This war has decreased the availability of critically important medical supplies that's much needed to help the Yemeni people. As a result of the ongoing war, the country lacks qualified paramedics and medical men. There are no graduates or formally trained paramedics have been certified since the beginning of the war. Only 19 paramedics graduated in 2014 from the Higher Institute of Health Sciences in Sana'a. There are only 10 medical men for each 10,000 patients, which shows the huge negative impact of the war on the healthcare system. The shortage of medical professionals is across Yemen. Around 18% of the country districts do not have any physicians. The country's instability and deaths among the medical community have resulted in an increased migration of the medical personnel. Certified emergency physicians tend to leave the country due to the war, the humanitarian crisis, and overall worsening poverty. They migrate to nearby countries in search of higher incomes, overall respect for their speciality, and security for themselves and their families. Yemen's under-resourced healthcare sector is ill-equipped to deal with the war victims, and medical services in Yemen can be considered functionally non-existent because of the war, which raises a red flag to all humanitarian organizations to provide the needed help to put an end to this crisis.